us it's about yeah. the community of bronco people oh, so the not really shake <laughs> what is up friends thanks for tuning back into blanco bronco adventures and it's a beautiful rainy day today you know nice overcast we're excited about this episode we got some big things in store do you remember dave and sandy loan from like last year yeah it tons rock and roll we were able to meet them and they made such a big impression on us remember these are the folks that are driving their early bronco not just any early bronco but a baja early bronco to so far all 48 states they still have alaska and hawaii to go to hard the, to, to get to hard to yeah. but we just received word that they're passing through spokane you know our stomping ground here in their baja and they're heading to Alaska. Well, we've got a surprise for them that they are unaware of. We've been in contact with our friends at Wild Horses. You know, one of the biggest names in early Broncos. We've put something together pretty special for Dave and Sandy. So, I, I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to number one, see their early Bronco. But number two, to just talk with Dave and Sandy again, because they're just awesome, genuine people. We made it. Lewis, what? what time is it? Um, 5.04. 504. We're only about three hours late. But look at what I see right in front of us. Dave and Sandy Lowen's Baja Bronco. It's been to all 48 states and soon to be 49. So here it is, guys. And 74. Baja Bronco? 73. 73 Baja Bronco. I screwed up already. 50, 50 years old. This year, 50 May, years old. May, April 15th, it turned 50. That is exciting. It was made the year we were married. Really? Okay. That is awesome. <laughs> Plus, we are right now in the process of heading to Alaska, which is the 49th state. Correct. That is awesome. This is day one heading north. Day one. So, what kind of big plans you got planned in Alaska? You just don't simply go from Oregon to Alaska for, you know, sightseeing, or what are you, what oh, are you yeah. thinking? Kinda. Uh, well, from from here, we're in Colbert, Washington right now for day one, and uh, we've got about 40 more miles to go before we sleep. But tomorrow we will cross the border into Alberta and drive to Banff, where Sandy's parents honeymoon for their wedding awesome. and I've heard about this place for 50 years and we're going to see it tomorrow see it. Awesome. Yep. Yep. from there we will be heading north by northwest up to Dawson Creek where the Alcan Highway actually begins mile post zero and that as most of you probably know or can figure out it's a northwest passage that winds up uh, I always thought it ended in Fairbanks, but it doesn't. It ends before Fairbanks in the Yukon Territory, and I apologize, I don't remember the name of the, the of where it ends. Uh, oh, oh, the little town. Anyway, the Alcan yeah. Highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Alcan Highway does yeah. end, but, but Fairbanks, we're going to Fairbanks, uh, and of course we'll, we'll see what we see along the way. Uh, we're going to be traveling through the Rockies doing this, so I think we're still going to see plenty of snow uh, with our wonderful Bronco Heater, Andy Foster. Uh, and you've got four-wheel drive, though. We do have four-wheel so, drive. This know. time it's all functional. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and new wiper blades. There you go. So, Fresh out-of-the-box wiper blades. Right the box. Thank you, Tom's Broncos. I'll give you a little shout-out. Uh, but from Fairbanks... We're going to head due north on the Dalton Highway, which is also uh, the, well, of course, I started that and I can't finish the name. Uh, Wiseman is where we're going to stop, but it, yeah. from, on the Dalton Highway, we head due north toward the Arctic Ocean. However, ExxonMobil owns the property bordering the ocean and will not allow you to drive it for security purposes. So, they will take you there by shuttle. Well, I see no reason to drive 500 miles on a gravel road to shuttle to the final destination. So, 
we're going to actually satisfy our fun with the Arctic Circle. Awesome. Where I can get a picture <laughs> of the Arctic Circle sign, but I can't get there and back on a tank of gas. So we're going to go another 70 miles north and stay in the little community of Wiseman. They're off the grid. <clears throat> they run off a generator for electricity. Really? And they'll be in a little log cabin out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Got a, you got a cuddle to stay warm is what you're yeah, saying. You <laughs> Snuggle up. There you go. Uh, and then from there we'll, we'll head back down to Dalton, back to Fairbanks, and then down to Denali and into Anchorage. And we have a nephew that lives in Anchorage. We'll stay there and do some little day trips out of that. And then we're going to take the Cassier Highway south to come home. So we're going to make a loop out of this. Awesome. Uh, looks to be about... 6,000 miles. We plan on being gone five weeks. And today the Bronco ran perfect. We're keeping our fingers crossed. This yep. is the best it's ever done on a road trip. It's and, awesome. Uh, it, yeah. it's, 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 it knows yeah, the awesome. milestone it's about to achieve. It's, it's <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, we, we hope yeah. to, to hit, uh, hit Alaska on about May. I'm going to say May 16th. Okay. I think is when we'll finally hit state 49. Awesome. That's super exciting. 6,000 miles in an early Bronco. And not just any early Bronco, but a Baja Bronco. We have absolutely loved your guys' story. And, you know, with our early Bronco, I wasn't trailering at home because you, this whole thing, you put the miles on them, you know, keep them in the garage, keep them nice. I get it. But use them enjoy it and what were we saying earlier the bumps and bruises on it that's all part of the fun and all the the story of it well, so and like i said before when we bought this from andrew norton back in 2015 uh i said my plan was to rent a car drive down to petaluma california which is about 750 miles from home rent a car drive down pick it up and drive it back and Andrew had a long pause on the phone, and then finally he goes, are you up for that kind of an adventure? And I said, well, if it can't make it 750 miles, I'll just get back in my rental car and go home, because <laughs> for what I'm paying for this, surely it's gonna run. Right. <laughs> and, and little did he know what was gonna happen next. Uh, or did we. Or did yeah. we. Yeah. I mean, my, yeah. my goal was to get it down to Fabulous Forts Forever at Knott's Berry Farm in 2016, a year after I bought it. That was the whole goal. Yeah. And that went perfectly smooth too. <laughs> and it was so easy. I talked Sandy into going east. And then it's been from there it's been crazy. Yeah, non stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Out of all all forty eight states to this point, what's well, been your favorite state so far? I liked wow. Maine. New England is awesome. Yeah, New yeah. England yes. was fun. And I, I yeah. liked Maine. Mostly because we stayed on two-lane roads, drove okay. through a lot of yeah. beautiful country. Yeah. And the people up there are super nice, super friendly. It was just a pretty place to be. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and maybe we can't, you know, say accurately because some of the states, we just barely got in to get right. the welcome to sign. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. we had to move on. But nevertheless, so, you yeah. made it to yeah. those states. Well, we've tried to see yeah. something in every state, but I will admit yeah. Kentucky State 48 we entered from the south, we drove across the border, <laughs> got the sign 20 miles north, took a left 20 miles west, and we were out of there. So that is the one state maybe yeah. we can go back to right. and see something. It's a lot to see. Well, but, yeah. Uh, and there again, you still got that check mark on the, on the yeah. list. So, yeah. And ultimately, for what you guys are you know, trying to achieve, that, that's what matters. So. so but well, we'll see plenty up in alaska bro. oh yeah super excited and you know updates we got to have updates throughout your trip of how things are going and how how's the bronco running because you know it's one of those that things can change in a hurry especially with a 50 year old vehicle so but i'll tell you what uh, for the first time seeing this in person this thing is awesome so shows its age <laughs> shows the miles and that's exactly what we love about your guys's journey and story we've been working behind the scenes as maybe you know maybe you don't i don't think you do but we've been working to try to help with each portion of your journey that we can and we were able to team up with wild horses and we want to present you guys 
with a check <laughs> for fifteen hundred dollars oh towards my. Alaska. Oh my we're, Alaska. We were able to reach out and Jim was more than happy to help make the adventure come to life and you know with how things wow. go if there's any unexpected of you know expenses or anything we oh, just wow. want to help out as much as possible. I so. am humbled and, and you guys are <laughs> truly well, amazing. You, you <laughs> have done all the legwork for this and, and everything we're, we're it's your support's amazing yes, yes. <laughs> like i say it's to us it's about yeah. the community of bronco people so the no, really <laughs> the right. the bronco is what brings us together but ultimately i think if the bronco was to go away at some point it's about who we meet along the way so mm -hmm. we're happy yeah. to help and like I say this one was wild horses they absolutely loved what you have going on and they wanted to jump on it as soon as possible so thank you I, yeah. yes, thank, <laughs> thank, thank you jim you. And, and family and yes and i'm gonna try to get to one of your events this year <laughs> and my if, hope if we're is, not on the road somewhere else and my hope is that someday we can repay all this kindness or, yeah. or pay it forward or, yes. or something yes. yeah i'm I'm truly humbled that people are willing to chip in for two people that just do silly things with the Bronco. <laughs> but it's what you're doing with the Bronco, so we absolutely love it. And like I say, every step of the way, we're, you know, rooting for you. So uh, we just got to keep it running good to where, you know, it well, makes its way. <laughs> you had a perfect day today. I'm hoping for a perfect day tomorrow. Awesome. Yep. So Dave and Sandy just got the news that Wild Horses sponsored them to go to Alaska 49 states and that's currently where they're heading right now it's impressive 6,000 miles in an early Bronco I mean we've done 25,000 miles in this new Bronco and I complain about my butt hurt you know <laughs> so Dave and Sandy we got it figured out we're super excited we're actually gonna be able to attend Wild Horses event this year we're gonna talk with Jim Krill and his take on Dave and Sandy's expedition of going to all 50 states, 49 as of now. I don't know when Hawaii will happen, or you know, that's a big one. You gotta get the Bronco on a boat. 50th state, man. But we'll definitely figure that out as time goes on. But huge shout out to Wild Horses for sponsoring Dave and Sandy. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. It's not about a business at this point it's about a community i think bronco is community over anything else like i was telling dave if bronco is to go away because i met you and you and you i've got contacts forever now but bronco's not going away so let's all do bronco stuff together <laughs> so dave and sandy had to head out they got another 40 miles tonight and then tomorrow Five they'll be weeks. in the canadia yep so they're going up to the great white north so, but let's touch base with Jim Krill and see what he thinks of Dave and Sandy. So we finally made it down here from Spokane, Washington, what, 20 hours of driving? You know, we're here with Jim Krill and we're just looking through the shop and seeing the whole setup here, which is impressive. I'm telling you, if you get the chance, you've got to make it to the Wild Horses event. Dave and Sandy, they're currently in Alaska right now. Just last night, we got a picture from David Sandy that they were in the Arctic Circle. 
I don't know about you, but has there ever been a Baja that's been in the Arctic Circle and all 49 states to this point? Yeah, so, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I think so it's pretty fun. Yeah, huge accomplishment, and you know, thanks again for helping them on their journey and getting there. You know, that's to me being new into the Bronco stuff. Early Broncos are awesome. We got sucked into the new Bronco stuff, but I think it's about that community base. So yeah, and and Dave and Sandy, you know, like I, I told you, they carted around the. Uh, no, I know blanket. I know everybody's gonna like chew me out. What what's a quilt? The quilt. Beautiful <laughs> quilt. They carted that all over the country, uh, raising money and and just super nice people. Wow. And it's fun just to be able to, to support them and what they're doing and see how their journey, you know, is yeah. going. And that's where we got sucked into is that family atmosphere of, you know, they've been doing this for now a whole 50 years, which is pretty exciting. So, yeah, Broncos 50 years old, married 50 years, what's next to come? So, we appreciate you guys being a part of it. And I know Dave and Sandy do from afar, and I'm sure that we'll touch base soon. <laughs> You guys are staples of the Bronco community and let's face it, you're making Bronco history and the Baja Bronco.